And taking a live look at our radar right now, we actually just this second had a new severe thunderstorm warning issued. This is throughout Chatham County and all the way out to Tybee Island. As you can see down there, looking at lots of uh, lightning strikes, probably about 150 there. And it's also recording up to 60 mile an hour gusts up to quarter sized hail. So not the time to be out and about on the roads. If you can put the car in the garage, if you're out on Tybee, I'd go ahead and do that. Still looking at penny sized hail out towards Hilton Head, about near 200 lightning strikes there. And then not as much with the storm up near Sheldon. It's starting to fall apart a little bit, but going to continue tracking these conditions as we head into the next few hours. If you're south of I-16, really not seeing hardly anything at all. It's going to be mostly just warm temperatures the rest of this evening until we get closer to midnight. But here in Savannah, we'll continue tracking these stronger storm chances through probably about 8 or 9 o'clock, and then it'll push through the rest of our area as we get closer to midnight. Still, if you have those Friday night plans, look for the rain chances to stick around through that 8 o'clock hour. As I said, temperatures will be staying in the mid 70s during this time time period, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to be seeing tomorrow morning. It'll be back in the upper 60s to lower 70s. We'll see more mid 70s closer to the coast, and as we go through the day tomorrow, it's going to be a similar situation. Still lots more of those pop up storm chances as we head into tomorrow evening. Still lots of very warm temperatures out there, but pretty much what we'll be looking at is upper 80s to lower 90s, feeling more like it's anywhere from the lower to upper 90s, depending on where you're at. So if you have those outdoor plans, make sure you are staying hydrated. Still going to be looking at level one threat for our western areas as we head into the early to mid afternoon tomorrow. But walking you through the day, a little bit of isolated rain chances first thing in the morning. Still going to be looking at beautiful weather as we head into the, the morning hours into the early afternoon. And then between about 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock is when this system is going to be pushing its way in. It'll cause increasing rain chances as we head into the mid afternoon into those early evening hours. And then everything will start to clear out. Still, if you have evening plans tomorrow night, temperatures still going to stay on the warm side. I've held on to those storm chances through about the 9 10 o'clock time frame temperatures cooling down into the mid 70s and then the rest of the weekend not as high of rain chances out there but still going to be tracking those very warm temperatures lower 90s as we go into Sunday but each day throughout the weekend it's going to feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s out there here's a closer look at Sunday's conditions some of our areas to the south could feel like they're in triple digit heat the good news is is we'll have a little bit of rain Monday night and cooler temperatures start to filter their way in behind this next system as we head into the middle of of next week and that means we'll be cooling back down into the mid 80s heading into next weekend. But if you're going to be out and about throughout this weekend, stay hydrated and stay updated on the latest forecast. You can get all the information on that in the WTOC weather app.